Okay, Mark here from iScoot with the team. Today we're going to look at the best commuter scooter for under $1,000. There's plenty of scooters on the market to choose from, uh, but here at iScoot we've bought four of what we believe to be the best on the market today. Um, I've come along today with the e-glide. It's, uh, it's about 12 months old, this scooter came out in 2019. Great little compact scooter. Matt, what have you got? I've got the uh, Zero 08, the entry level into the Zero range. Um, great little scooter. I think this is the one that'll take it out today. Well, let's have a uh, look and see. I've got the uh, Ninebot Segway Max. Uh, this is the 2020 edition. And so it's, um, nothing really has changed since last year, but nonetheless, a nice trusty scooter and a nice powerful, so we'll see what happens. And I've got the Joya A, 36 volt, seven amp hours, solar tires, and 350 watt motor. Okay, and just that's a brand new scooter, isn't it, Steve? That hasn't even arrived in Australia yet. I've got the, the most rarest one here in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, look after that because that's on loan. We don't own that, so don't break it. Okay, so we're going to do the usual tests. Um, we're going to look at uh, the durability. We're going to have a bit of a lifestyle um, comparison. We're going to look at acceleration and braking and overall performance. And uh, we're going to put them up against each other see what comes out on top and uh, have a bit of fun at the same time. Sounds good. Let's do it guys. Awesome. Let's go.